Yeah, family, real quick. I, I got to talk about this card last night. Shout out to Al Heyman. Um, I told you guys, you know, I'm a huge boxing fan. Al Heyman is somebody that is, you know, listed. Go check out Forbes.com as one of the most powerful and influential business minds in terms of the sports realm in the world. You know, um, but yeah, shout out to him. Put on a great car last night with the fights that happened out in uh, Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. You had um, Hurd versus Trout. That was a great fight. Lot, man. Action packed fight, man. And, um, you know, Trout just gassed out, man. You know, he had that, that veteran savvy kicked in in the first like six rounds and he gassed out. That constant pressure from Hurd, Jared Hurd wore him down and you know heard was able to break him down and stop him get actually and that was um trout's first knockout loss he's never lost a fight as via knockout so crazy crazy but that was a great fight man action pack um i'm gonna say the best for last though yeah y'all know i'm gonna say the best for last and i i did watch the lower fight with i didn't know too much about the other dude he fought but laura did his thing um outboxed him Knocked him down. I think it was a fifth or sixth round. And um, surprisingly, Laura was the one that was walking the other dude down. I forgot his name. I can't. I can't think of his name right now. But um, I, like I said, I didn't know too much about that guy anyway. That he fought. But Laura did his thing. Outboxed him. Knocked him down and got the UD. Um, listen, man. The 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 junior middleweight division, 154 pounder division, is stacked. You know, a real stack. So stacked that you guys got you got guys who were there previously, like Canelo Alvarez, right? Jamal Charlo, uh, Demetrius Andre. They moved up, who were formerly junior middleweights, moving up to 160. That's how stacked, you know, that that division is. But uh, yeah, the junior middleweight division is is it was pretty stacked, and you had three guys, you know, competing in that same level lat that was displayed last night. It was crazy. But, uh, yeah, the fight, man, between Charlo and Lupin, crazy, man. I know Lupin is from Florida. You know, I'm in South Florida. He's from the Orlando area. He's Haitian. And, um, I, you know, I was rooting for the guy as in, like, just in boxing, period. You know, I was rooting for him. It was sad to see a guy. Well, I wouldn't say sad. It was just surprising to see somebody like him, such a young, upcoming, talented fighter, lose the way he did last night man you know um i picked charlo to win but at the same time i felt for how lubin lost i mean he got knocked out cold to the point where he was concussed to the point where when you saw him on the floor you know his equilibrium was off balance his cerebellum was moved shaken you know he was twitching i mean it was crazy how he got knocked out and his, his body and his brain were disconnected for like 30 seconds, you know what I'm saying? And that's how you know you were knocked out cold, you know? But it was sad to see someone like that who was so talented get knocked out the way he did, man. And, you know, at the same time, you know, Charlo, the Charlo brothers, they can't be denied right now. They are that camp, the Lions only camp, the Charlo brothers, you know what I'm saying? Errol Spence Jr., them dudes, man. They are nothing to be played with. They are nothing to be played with, you know. But man, the way Charlo, when I saw the fight live, boy, I was so I was like, I got up off my seat. I was in my my master bedroom watching the fight. Man, my wife was asleep. I woke her. I woke her up. I was screaming so so high. I was so excited, like whoa. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I was, I was like so lit last night man the way that knockout happened but again shout out to al Heyman putting on a great spectacular card on showtime man great boxing you know boxing is my favorite sport i love to talk boxing you know shout out to uh everybody i watch on youtube dante's boxing nation boxing ego um you know ytbc ldbc all those guys that i watch man i watch those channels religiously because that's you know like i said boxing is my favorite sport i watch that 
as much content as I possibly can. But uh, yeah, I just, I just, this is a video basically praising the card last night that was put together by Al Heyman and how boxing continues to be and show just good quality matches, man. You know, it's just, it's just been a great, great year for boxing. And I'm looking forward to the fight. Um, Deontay Wilder is going to be facing Bermaine St uh, Stavern. I think Stavern is a punching bag. That's going to be easy work for um, Wilder. Uh, but anyway, I don't want to continue to dabble on about random stuff. That just boxing, like I said, boxing is just putting on some just great matches this year, man. And it just continues to get better. So that's all I got, family. All right. Until next time. Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.